the desert sun. What's been really cool about this week is my book has finally dropped and is available on Amazon and it's been a very surreal experience. Yesterday I got to finally hold a book for the first time in my hands. But within all these things, life continues, you know. I remember the day that I finally got the email from Amazon that the book is getting published. It was just another day, you know. Another day at work. Another day on the grind, nothing really changed other than I no longer needed to work on it. <laughs> it was finally done and it's just a super surreal experience and I really wanted to thank everybody who has been just supporting and encouraging me throughout this process. It has been very crazy to hear strangers, you know, reach out to you and say, hey, I got your book or hear friends who have already read it and, and letting me know what they've thought and what what they've received from this book and, and I just pray that it really challenges everyone who opens it and kind of brings you into the insight that God has blessed me with and hopefully it nudges you forward. It's really hard to grasp all this, man. So for those of you who have not got a chance to get this book yet, it's only eight bucks on Amazon. If you have trouble reading, um, I believe this book is perfectly made for you. I, I designed this to be a very easy read. Only about 100 pages or so. If you sit down in one sitting, I believe you can, you can knock this out in two or three hours. And this has been made just to be a wake up call. You know, I'm not a perfect writer. This is the first time I've ever written anything like this. But I believe it is for good intention. And, and my prayer is that this book just challenges you. As I have been challenged over the last few years and realizing that I need to keep seeking truth. There isn't a point of completion. You need to keep looking for it. You need to keep finding it. in those moments of I know enough or I'm already happy with what I have that's when the lies start to creep in that's when everything you've worked so hard for is at risk and in danger so yeah really just massive thank you to everybody who's grabbed this already and is uh, excited to find uh, everything that has been, you know, put into these pages. And I just pray this is an encouragement to you. As I've been encouraged in the whole process of writing this, I, I hope this is an encouragement for you in the reading portion of this. Um, and I'm just really excited for what God has in store. So I'm gonna play some ball. Enjoy this beautiful weather before I go back to uh, below freezing temps in the Chicago land. Super excited to take you on this journey and see where God takes us because because I don't write this on my own. This is not just me writing this. I genuinely ask God to help me with all these words. And I believe that has that is what has happened. So I'd love to hear any of you who have already picked this up. 
I would just love to hear what you have taken from it and what has brought you clarity. Or even maybe things that you don't agree with and you think I need to learn on, I'm more than happy to continue my learning if there's something I missed or something you don't agree on or maybe there is something that you need further clarification on, please let me know. Um, I would love to keep building on this book and, and there's going to be much more that's going to come from this. And uh, In the coming weeks I will have a audiobook version as well as a visual version for you guys to uh, kind of just watch through and just be reading the book and maybe pick out some points as to explain further that I wish I had explained more after it's been printed. For those of you who have already written books, you know <laughs> you know the struggle of having put something out and then saying, oh, I should explain that better. Or, I wish I wrote this in there. But I guess that's where revision comes in. So thank you again. Make sure you like, subscribe, and, and, and comment in the video. And just let me know what else you guys are looking for, what other things I can be speaking about and, and just sharing about my life to encourage you and motivate you to truly become one day closer to who God's created you to be because we're all on our own journey but I believe God uses people to bring you closer to where you are supposed to be and that is my hope for all of this yeah alright catch you on the next one <laughs>